Subway NFL postgame show on CBSSports.com, and the Lions go into Washington, and again, well, what a surprise. They leave Washington with a loss. 34-3, the final. Jason Campbell, outstanding. Lions defense couldn't get off the field in Detroit, now 0-21 in the nation's capital lifetime. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Hoitz and NFL.com's Pat Kerwin with you here on CBSSports.com. And Pat, all in all, this was a very good team game from the Redskins. Offense controlled the ball, right. and defense didn't let Detroit do anything. No, the, uh, both sides of the ball were terrific. And I tell you what a buy did for those guys. Two weeks to prepare for this game because it's an unusual offense. And I talked to Andre Carter last week, and I talked to him again this week going, leading into this game. He said the game plan was good. They were getting a lot of reps at it. Andre Carter and the front four with a difference in this game. They did not have to blitz, and they got five sacks on John Kitt, uh, and they should have had eight. It, it, a lot of, lot of play that caused turnovers. They scored a lot of points. Uh, all kinds of problems for this Lions offense, and let's, let's get into this offensive line here because sure. they scored against the Bears, but they got help from the special teams and defense. This offensive line cannot block. Well, it's not a very good offensive line, and, and it's a one-dimensional offense. Now, today in the third quarter, the Detroit tried to run that ball and establish that they were balanced. Talked to Rod Marinelli this week. That was their plan. Let's d demonstrate we can be balanced. They can't be balanced. And in the end, they have to throw the ball a lot. When you go one for ten on third downs and all that pressure on the quarterback and you start to isolate each player, the first place you got to look is the money they paid and how much they expect from Jeff Backus, their left tackle. And today, Carter was taking him to the cleaners, and they can't help him. He's got to be able to handle players on his own because there's other weak spots where they got to keep a back or a tight end to help. If Backus is going to break down like this, they're in for a long season. And let's not forget, in that draft, they wanted Steve Hutchinson, who was taken by Seattle. Long time ago. Long time ago, one pick ahead of time. As for the Jason Campbell, he was yes. absolutely phenomenal managing this football game. A career high in completions, a career high in yards. And then when he didn't have to, the running game was there. Well, I think we have it in reverse as it relates to Jason at this point in his career. Jason, they were going to force the run down Detroit's throat. And they were going to run outside to the left, away from the big nose tackle and towards the undersized speed rushing ends. And they were committed to it, and they weren't going to slow down. It was classic Joe Gibbs offense. And when they had to honor that, now Jason Campbell, who's developing so beautifully, Jason, to your point, sees the field, sees receivers in control of himself and strong. Yep. And he's, he really has a lot of things going from that. Looked like the old Joe. If you're a Redskin fan, this looks like something you saw in the 80s from Joe Gibbs. He's now 13-0 yes, against the Detroit Lions. He, yes, he is. And let's, and let's not forget, <laughs> in, in this ball game, uh, Santana Moss did not play, and Antoine Randall, who had a great first half, left the ball game. So uh, Jason Campbell did that without his top he, two he receivers. Sure James Thrash was helping out. Chris Cooley had a touchdown. They went to Brad Sellers. I mean, everything worked for Washington. Real quickly. How good is this Redskins team when you look at the rest of the NFC? If they can do what they did today, and I don't know if they can, and get after quarterbacks with a four-man rush and not have to blitz. Now, they, Greg Williams can't help himself because he sees blitz opportunities, but if you can play it straight like they did today, they can play a lot of football teams going down the stretch here. But I don't know that everyone's defense, the good teams, are going to look defensively like the Lions. Yeah, I would agree with that. 34-3, the final for more on this game or any other in Week 5. Be sure to check everything out on CBSSports.com. He's a little watch other today, videos. folks. He's a lion. <laughs> CBS Audience Network has plenty more on this game. For NFL.com's Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. And feels for the rest of all the Detroit fans uh, around the country. Take care, folks.